In this video, we are to derive the method of moments from the uniform distribution. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. We are to estimate A and B by method of moments from the uniform distribution. Solution. Of course, since we have two parameters here, the solution to the method of moments will be for the first moment, we'll have the population mean to be equal to the sample mean, while for the second moment, we'll have the population mean to be equal to the sample mean for the second moment. Now, we take the first moment, we come over to this side. For the first moment, But before we take the first moment, we should note some certain parameters. For example, the expected value of x for the first moment will give a plus b all over 2. Also, the expected value of x for of x squared For the second moment is equal to b squared plus ab plus a squared all over 3. So we utilize this before we go into finding the method of moments. So for the first moment, we have that mu is equal to the expected value of x, which is equal to a plus b as we have said all over 2. This for the first moment, all over two. Why? For the sample mean, we have one all over n, summation of xi, as i running from one to n. Of course, we know that this is our mean, so we have this to be equal to x bar. This is our equation one, and this is our equation i i. Now, combining Equation I and equation II. We get A plus B all over 2 is equal to X bar, which also means that A plus B is equal to 2X bar. So let's leave this as our equation star because we'll take it later. Now, we go over to the second moment. For the second moment, for more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. For the second moment, we have that mu12 is equal to the expected value of x squared, which is equal to what we have written here previously b squared plus ab plus a squared all over 3. b squared plus ab plus a squared all over 3. We also have, for the sample mean of the second moment, we have 1 all over n, summation of xi squared, i running from 1 to n. So this is what we have, and we note that this is also equal to x bar which is our mean square so the next thing to do is to combine that second moment of course this is our equation two or equation three and this is our equation four so we combine them to get b so To obtain our estimate, we have to combine that equation, that two equation. Of course, if we combine them, we have that we we'll get b squared plus ab plus a squared all over 
3 is equal to x bar squared because we are combining this and this so we get this of course this is also equal to a b plus a squared is equal to 3 x bar multiplying through by 3 x bar squared of course we now have that let this be our equation hash it then means that we note to obtain our estimates we bring down these two equations which we have gotten first a plus b is equal to 2 x bar and b squared plus a b plus a squared is equal to 3 x bar squared so this is our equation star and this is our equation hash from equation star from equation star we know that b can be equal to 2x bar minus a 2x bar minus a so we can substitute the whole of this into this we have to clean the other side of the board we move over to this side to obtain the estimate we have to substitute b into equation as so we substitute b into equation as to give us anywhere we see b we put 2x bar minus a so we have 3x bar squared we are writing this space is equal to anywhere we see b anywhere we see b we put 2x bar minus a so of course we have b here it now be 2x bar minus a all squared because of this square plus a multiplied by b 2x bar minus a 2x bar minus a then plus plus a squared so we have 3 x bar squared is equal to if we use quadratic equation and simplify this we get 4 x bar squared minus 4 a x bar plus a squared now we open these brackets we have plus 2ax bar minus a multiplied by a we have a squared plus a squared of course this and this can go so we have 3x bar squared to be equal to 4x bar squared minus 4ax plus 2ax we have minus 2ax bar then we also have a this and this have gone we have a plus a squared of course we can write this as 3 x bar squared minus if this comes over here 4 x bar squared to be equal to minus 2 a x bar plus a squared so this is what we we'll get now we can write this as a squared minus 2a x bar plus 4 x bar squared minus if this comes over here minus 3 x bar 
squared to be equal to zero. Of course, we put this as this and make this a quadratic equation. Of course, if we make this a quadratic equation using the almighty formula to resolve this, we have a to be equal to one. We also have b to be equal to negative two x bar, and we have our and c to be equal to four x bar squared minus three x bar squared. So this is what we get. So using, of course, the almighty formula, we are looking for a now. A we want the negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is what we use. We now substitute these values into this. We substitute those values into that. We come over to the other side. If we substitute those values into that, we have a to be equal to negative b is negative 2x bar, negative 2x bar plus or minus square root of b, also negative 2x bar squared minus 4 multiplied by 4a. a is 1 multiplied by c. c is 4x bar squared minus 3x bar squared all over 2 multiplied by 1 because a is 1, 2a. So it then means that a is equal to this and this will go to give us 2x bar plus or minus square root of this and this will give us 4x bar squared minus 4 multiplied by 4 is 16x bar squared. Negative 4 multiplied by negative 3x bar is positive 12x bar squared. So we have this all over 2. Of course, this will go into this to give us our a to be equal to x bar c plus square root of 4 x bar squared minus minus 16 plus 12 is minus 4 x bar squared. So it then means that our estimate of A will now be x bar plus mu plus to the, to the first one to give us 4 into x bar squared minus x bar squared. So this is what we get for our A estimate. Now we are also to obtain our B estimate. We are to obtain our B estimate. So this is the process in which we can use to obtain the A estimate. And the A estimate will give us this. We'll also find B. So we move over to this other side of the board. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. We should recall we should recall that a plus b is equal to 2x bar and we said b is equal to 
2x bar minus a. So if we have b equal to 2x bar minus a, and we have here as a to be x bar plus the whole of this. So we can also say that a is also equal to 2x bar minus b. So we substitute the whole of this into anywhere we see a. So we substitute it into this our estimate. Substituting it into this our estimate will give us substitute into a estimate. So we have if we substitute it into here, we get two x bar minus b is equal to x bar c minus this time that is plus or minus everything remains the same x bar squared minus x bar squared so it then means that negative b is equal to negative 2x bar minus sorry plus x bar plus or minus square root of 4 x bar squared minus x bar squared so it then means that negative b is equal to negative x bar because 2x bar plus x bar is like minus 2 plus 1 so it gives us negative 1 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by x bar squared minus x bar squared. So this will cancel this. It then means that our b estimate will be equal to x bar. Say this time we have plus, we put here as minus square root of 4 x bar squared minus x bar squared. So, this is our estimate for A, and this is our estimate for B for the uniform distribution. If you want to compute or know how to compute more of this, you need to subscribe to this channel. The process we have taken is what you need to obtain the method of moments for the uniform distribution. We went through all the processes involved in finding the method of moment for the uniform distribution. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel.